Welcome, everybody, to the 2021 Pat and Ken at the Holidays. Here we are. I'm Pat McDonald, the Uber critic of Chicago, Ken. You know, I loaded my holiday pipe with uh, something special this year, commercial grade. <laughs> it is and legal, I'm, Ken. And I'm, it is. And I'm Ken Candela, the, the movie wag. Can we... Uh, uh, you know, particularly curated this year to kind of have a theme. I would say our theme is like going back to nostalgia. <laughs> because we were talking about the 60s and the 70s. And we're going to start off with a 1970s classic, The Gathering. Now, this was a TV movie, Ken. Yeah. Maybe Starring I was Ed Asner, Asner. so it's sort of a tribute to Ed Asner because he right. just passed away. It was, uh, I think, it was one of the the movies of the week on ABC. As I yeah, recall, yeah, yeah, pretty much. And, 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 and this one was really, you know, considered one of the best in terms of the caliber of actors that right. came in to do it. Uh, you had Ed Asner, uh, you had Maureen Stapleton, uh, you had a lot of other actors that I think you'd recognize if you if you watch it, but. Uh, you want to tell the basic premise of the uh... sure i mean it's fairly simple uh, yeah. uh ed asner plays a uh industrialist who finds out he is dying right. and he is he's been estranged from his family for several years because he walked out on his wife right. uh played by maureen stapleton mm -hmm. so he's looking to make amends right and he, and he, he, he wants to take a trip to visit everybody that's when Maureen Stapleton finds out he's dying through his doctor. And, now, let me, uh, no, let me make one quick point, though. At no time, first of all, he looks as healthy as anything throughout <laughs> his entire movie. Couple of months, eh? Maybe more. Wouldn't know what to look at me, would you? This is crazy. I mean, there's not even a single cough or, or anything. So they I, never, I don't know he, what he's dying of. He, he goes to his wife and he yeah. uh, he uh, says, you know, I'd like the, the numbers or the you know the addresses of the kids because he's really lost touch with everybody. Right, he's he's uh, been estranged. Right, and and she comes back and says, well, look, you know, this this would be the perfect opportunity for us to you know bring everyone together for the holidays, and hence the title of the name, the gathering. We're gonna have them come here. How do I work that? With my help. We'll have a, a Christmas reunion, a gathering of the Thorntons. One thing that, that struck me initially is that he's trying very hard not to be Lou Grant. <laughs> <laughs> he has a very, doesn't he have a very weird, like, actory voice going on? Yeah, like, yeah, he, he, he does. Yeah, he does. Or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I accept most of your preamble about the rich full life with which i've been blessed i was waiting for him to say to his wife you've got spunk i hate spunk <laughs> but he did so how many kids so how many kids did he have he had he had uh he had four because okay. one of them uh, one of them is the lawyer tom right one of them is julie who has the kids and the husband who is having trouble with his uh business peggy the woman who's a washington lobbyist right and then uh the fourth one is bud bud you had to have a bud and I, bud we find out was basically a uh you know a draft dodger draft dodger baby just like right. bill clinton protest is one matter dodging the draft is something else what do you want petitions they don't work action does you're gonna jump the country start by jumping the hell out of this house He says he's wrong. Oh. Now, I was thinking to myself, that's very interesting because back then in 77, you could say, yes, the Vietnam uh, War was wrong. You right. know, and get away with it. Today, you can't say any war is wrong. No. You can't say Vietnam is wrong. You can't say Iraq is wrong. You can't say Afghanistan is wrong. You were right. You know, we all liked Lou, you know, uh, Ed Asner. Right. And, uh, right. And you, you anticipated these these movies. They would promote right. them pretty well, and you knew they were coming up. 
I mean, so, you know, the family, you know, reconvenes. Um, slowly but surely, I think a few of them start to come to the realization of why their father, you know, wanted to get everybody together. The doctor and the lawyer. He brings the doctor and the lawyer in. What he That's how you know he's a man of means because his <laughs> personal physician and his attorney are always at his beck and call. <laughs> You and know? they seem to be hanging out too much. They were hanging out on Christmas <laughs> Eve. They yeah. come on Christmas Day. I'm like, who are these men? Adam! Adam! What are you two doing here? Good evening, good evening. We were about to call it the night when Bob reminded me we forgot something. What? Your famous Christmas recitation, sir. Oh. I want to drink to what we have. To what we had. Maybe that's why he left his wife. I don't know. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, Pat. You know that. <laughs> it's held up pretty well. I mean, you always have to expect a certain amount of uh, uh, sentimentality with, you know, quote unquote, holiday films. This one, though, didn't go over the top. I mean, I think they, they kind of played it straight. And I'm sure Ed Asner had a lot to, to do with that. Well, except for the clothing, I thought it aged pretty well. I mean, yeah. seriously, I mean, the clothing's ridiculous, but... Yeah. I mean, yeah. there, you know, besides not having cell phones and all that, family yeah. problems are family problems. <laughs> yeah. it, it, they don't some change. Things, some things never change. So, yeah, right. so that's, that's why I think it holds up the way it does, you know. And, uh, but they have some great moments. There's one uh, particular scene where him and his son, uh, I think it was the doctor, sent him fireworks. It's a commercial-grade firework display that they set off. And uh, uh, I, I, like th I like that scene. It's funny, it's funny you say that because there were small things in, in this film to reconcile his situation. And mm -hmm. when you talk about blowing off fireworks with the son that he was really at odds with because mm -hmm. they're both the same stubborn person. So we also find out that the son who went to Canada <clears throat> has a wife and a child and lives kind of a very uh, reclusive sort of life. You know, you're not sure if he's going to come or not. They really almost are almost coming to the terms that he's not going to come there on Christmas right. Eve. It's fine. Gorgeous oh, baby. You would figure he wouldn't be a religious type, but they bring in the yeah. baptism on Christmas Day, yeah. even though Asner in real life is Jewish. A lot of famous Jews did Christmas episodes, so we're okay there. It is the first night of Hanukkah when we're doing this. So. <laughs> oh, it is. That's right. It is. It is. Happy Hanukkah to everybody. Mazel tov, baby. Did you have a favorite seed or line? I, I did like the line about Kennedy. So back off on the JFK imitation. <laughs> Will do. Good. When you stop playing Spencer Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my favorite line was Maureen Stapleson said to him, Oh, I can see you now racing around Canada. So you dropped dead in a Manitoba washroom. Uh, right. In this particular case, you know, with a father that is now uh, terminally ill, uh, if, if that can't bring people together, you know, <laughs> <laughs> then nothing can. Let's be honest. Yeah. Why, Here's the my old man, by the way. So but what was I, your holiday bell rating, sir? Um, I, I, would give, I would give this a good solid uh, three and a half bells. Yeah, yeah I, I would I, definitely I, revisit this movie. I'm going to agree with you, Ken. Three and a half holiday bells for The Gathering. Submitted for your approval. A department store Santa makes a holiday wish that can only be granted in the Twilight Zone. The Night of the Meek coming up next. I'm Pat and Ken at the holidays. Wow. It's happening.